Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are using affordable drugstore, beauty supply store, new primers, new eyeshadow type of look. And this was the look I was able to achieve. So if you want to see how I got this look, the products I use and all of that, make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and try to use the Cara Beauty Primer. It's just what it says. It doesn't say like pore diffusing, matte, hydrating, none of that. It just says primer. So we're going to try this. If you check out my Cara Beauty haul, if you have not already, let's try this out and see what it's about. I'm not going to, well, right now in my head, I say I'm not going to use my Elf Cookies and Dream. I think I got two left. Let's see first. It feels moisturizing. It's not thick. And it's not like I don't feel like my foundation is going to move throughout the day. So let's see how this goes. Gently under the eyes. right now it feels good <laughs> right now you got to check out that uh haul video because i told y'all all the details about that about this primer in the haul video because the writing is rather small okay some of my paint pot today's look we're going for a mauvey type look today is halloween and no i'm not dressing up or any of that but i am gonna do a pink look <laughs> I think I've got glitter on this brush. Like, why would you put glitter on your paint pot and crease brush? I don't know. Probably couldn't find none. My brush at the time. But we just wipe and go. I wanted to do the primer before I do the eyes because I wanted it to give a chance to kind of sit and melt into my skin like I normally do and since this is a very new primer I really didn't want to take any chances I know how I feel about my elf cookies and dream okay I need to blend this concealer out underneath my eyes what did I use I think I just used my foundation shade 495 long comb some days I highlight, some days I just use my foundation shade. And this just makes your eyebrows look like you just got them freshly done, even though I have it in months. But it gives that illusion. For eyeshadow primer and eyeshadow, I'm I had it in my hand. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm going to use this. It's either from Timu. I think it's Timu. But it's a concealer. And it's in the shade 04. But this is far too light for me to do anything on my face with. So I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow base today. You can always use any concealer that you have gotten that's far too light as an eyeshadow base. And I found that in my stash. I'm like, I can't just let it just sit here. So... We're going to use it today as a base. And in this video, I'll give y'all little clips because I got to get to work early today because I'm going to do my friend's mom makeup for the Halloween contest. And we'll see how that goes. First time for everything, right? <laughs> I looked at videos on how to do it. I'm like, okay, well, hmm. We could do something. I don't know what, but if, if all else fails, at least her face will be painted white. And she'll have black eyeshadow. <laughs> I could do that really good. So we'll see. I'll give y'all little clips or whatever. Thank you. 
and pat this in. It doesn't feel like heavy. This is far more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it was going to be this pigmented. So this might be my new base for a while. I said we were doing mauve, and that's what we're going to do. I need to stick to this to the plan. Get my brush cleaner, my handy dandy. I'm going to use the Beauty Supply Store, the Velvet Red Ruby Kisses eyeshadow palette today. Looks like this. It's a new one. I haven't tried that. I'm going to take this shade and put it in my outer V. Let's see how pigmented it is. So far, I think I used two of the uh, new palettes, and they have been pigmented. And this one is pigmented. Pack it on first. And this is one of my <laughs> my new favorite, my BH Cosmetics uh point pointed crease brush. I'm gonna order some more, like probably Black Friday or whenever I feel like they're having a sale. Cause I love these brushes. Like love them. And I'm just taking it and blending out the edges slightly. Especially in my crease area. Y'all know circle of motions it is. So far, the primer doesn't feel bad. <laughs> you know, in my head, I'm like, should I do my cookies and dream? Should I do my cookies and dream? But right now, it's not feeling extremely horrible on my face. It feels good, weightless. I'm going to put down a matte shade first, which is this one, kind of mauve at the bottom. And then I think I'm going to top it with a glitter shade, with that one of the glitter shades that's in there. Let's see how the mattes look. Pigmented. A lighter matte, I should say. Because the matte shade I want to put down is kind of like a marble. And, you know, I feel like those sometimes need to be use as toppers. Did y'all see how pigmented um beauty supply store Ruby Kisses is? That's pigmented, huh? Yeah, okay. Okay, now the top shade that I swatched on the haul, that marble, I'm going to put that on top of there. Yep, that's what I wanted.
This is another small packer brush from Beach Cosmetics. Crease back in effect. Got a pile on there. And I think we have achieved our mauve soft pink mauve type look for today. With a three ninety nine eyeshadow palette. Yep. I don't want to bring that color all the way in to my bridge of my nose. I don't want to do that today. Just want to get that darkness like three-fourths all the way in there. Yeah. Let me get a foundation. Okay, for foundation today, I'm going to take my Revlon Long Wear 24 Hours for combination and all skin in the shade 600 Cinnamon. That's what we're going to use as foundation today. Look, I'm looking for the sponge. I'm like, I just wet the sponge. Like, in the world? I wet my Car Beauty sponge. Let's do an affordable look today. Since we don't start it off being affordable. Let's finish it up. Yeah, I see that uh Revlon foundation. Even though it's like seventeen or eighteen dollars. <laughs> kind of pricey for a drugstore, but it's a lot cheaper than, you know. The high end stuff, it works just as well. Another goodie in my collection that I need to pay attention to more often. And I just use, I might as well say, two pumps, one pump for each side. I like the way a damp sponge blends my stuff out, but I feel like it just sucks up a lot of good product, if you get me, you know? Like, I couldn't use any. Plus, you know, when you learn makeup, when you first learn makeup, you learn it by using a brush. Well, I did. So you just get kind of used to the brush. Did you feel like you're cheating on the brush <laughs> when you use a sponge? But this is flawless. This is flawless. Got a little mark right there. This is flawless. Okay. Next is concealer. If you've been with me for the past couple of videos, then you'll know the concealer that I have been loving. But right now, I cannot find it on my desk. So let me go with contour first while I retrace my steps. Contour, Thread Beauty 210, slight contour. Not bringing it all the way down today. What in the world? Where are you?
And I'm quite sure it's looking at me right in front of my face. I just can't see it. I promised myself this weekend I was going to get these lock things out my head. That foundation still got a little slight glow to it, which I'm not mad at. Let me find the concealer. I told y'all it was looking right at me. My Alta Youthful Glow Concealer in Tan to Deep Warm. Looking right at me. Okay, I am going to put on some lashes while I let that sit for a minute. All right, let's get to blending this concealer. I had it sitting for probably about four minutes. It doesn't dry fast. As you can see, it's still creamy. Good concealer. Feels so good. Yeah, today is a Sasha Buttercup type of day. So that's what we're using today. I think the little uh, $4.99 eyeshadow look came together, y'all. Kind of stretch your eyes or your face. So you can make sure you're setting all the conceal areas. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Okay, we got a look going on. Gosh, and I did that in no time. I did that in under 20 minutes. I am really, really all doing myself. I'm going to take my No Color RCMA powder to set the remainder of the face. I can use this powder for the rest of the year, the rest of next year, and I still the bottle still will be full. <laughs> I'm convinced that it's magic in the bottle because the powder seems to go nowhere. And y'all see how long I've been using it. Don't be scared of the cast right now. It'll go away once I do whatever I need to do. Okay, let's get the duster. I use this ColourPop lip liner. I didn't show y'all because I can't see the name and you see the packaging. They no longer even sell this type of packaging. So I know that they don't have this on their website. I checked 
like two days ago and I didn't see it. We're going to bronze up with our Black Radiance and Black Coffee. And I think I'm going to take a tad, just a tad bit of, I think, what is, I have date night. I have date night and I don't know where it is, but this is Hey Jealousy from the Sephora Collection. Blush. Oh, where my date night is. I used to, I can't even get getting my stuff. Add a little blush to the cheeks. And then for lip gloss, my Lorac and Duchess. They sell Lorac at Kohl's. Johnny. I done been up and you are late. Now, I got to ask Johnny, what is his schedule? Because he just now, what is it, crowing, roostering, whatever you call it. And I done been up. Can't mess with Johnny. All right. Spray. And we can get dressed. We have a look and it is not bad using some affordable products, very affordable products. The primer, I must say, I'm enjoying, make sure my lashes are on, without using my Elf Cookies and Dream, I think. I don't know, we'll keep playing with it because y'all know how I feel about my Elf Cookies and Dream. The um, Ruby Kisses Red Velvet Palette. If you find these in your beauty supply store, if not, you can always pick them up from Amazon. But I think they are so pigmented and just so easy to blend. I love easy to blend eyeshadows. Like easy to blend eyeshadows and affordable you can't beat that. I'm just blending with what's ever left on my brush, like right here in the inner part. So if I miss any place that I had that light concealer, like I just don't have like a white spot just sitting there. And this is the completed look, guys. So if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to drop down and let me know what are some of your favorite affordable products that most people sleep on. Like most people don't recognize how good they are. Drop down and let me know. And if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, stay tuned for a clip of whatever my makeup we can come up with. Bye.